This video is part nine in a series of commentary videos where I'm talking through the exact same exam questions as my GCC science sprint series, but narrating my thought process. As you hopefully know, 20% of the marks in GCC combined science are for math skills. And although these are put in the context of science that you've learned about as part of the GCC combined science curriculum, sometimes the questions really are just testing your maths. And this is one of those questions. So in order to be able to answer this, we don't actually need to know what an alloy is, we just need to be able to recognise expressions in decimal form, use percentages and also give our answer to an appropriate number of significant figures. So we're trying to work out what the mass of aluminium in this alloy is, and we've got the masses of the other four components, and we know that overall it's 10.4% aluminium. So our first step is going to be to add together the masses of the four components that we do know. And then we need to know what overall percentage that is. So, of course, if we're thinking about the whole of anything, that's 100%. And then we know that 10.4% is aluminium. So we can do 100, take away 10.4 to be left with 89.6. So I know that 89.6% of this alloy weighs 2,240.1 grams. So in order to get any further, I need to know what 100% would weigh. So I've got two options at this point. I can divide by 89.6%, but I personally find that many people struggle to use the percentage button on their calculator properly, and often that can um, just introduce an error. So my personal preference is always to work in decimals instead. So I would take 2240.1 and divide by 0 0.896, which is gonna get me exactly the same answer. So both methods give an answer of 2,500.112. And I'm going to write that whole answer down for now. I'm not going to round until right at the very, very end, because that's always a crucial thing that if you round early, you could introduce error and not get the right final answer. So now I know what 100% of the alloy um, weighs. I want to know how much just my aluminium weighs. Um, so that's the 10.4%. So at this point, you could stick with the decimals and you could um, multiply by 0 0.104. So that's working out 10.4%. Or if you prefer, you could divide by 100, which would give me 1%, and then multiply that by 10.4. And either one of those methods would give me 260.011648. So again, I've written down my whole calculator display, haven't rounded it yet. And then finally, I need to think about how precise should my answer in fact be. So if I look at the data that I've been given in the question, I'm always looking for the least precise piece of data because you can't be more precise in your answer than the least precise piece of data. So here I can see that silicon and iron and magnesium are all given to two significant figures. So I should give my answer to two significant figures and that's going to be 260 grams. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you're finding this series of videos useful in your GCSE science revision. If you are enjoying them then don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and I'll see you soon for some more science revision videos.